Are you working with Windows 10 and you still need to do an offline scan? Well, I'm Ronnie Wong, and let's figure out how to do that next. That's right, Windows 10 is actually helping us by, of course, including its Defender Offline feature that's built right into the operating system. Now, in the earlier editions of Windows 10, the way that you would have to do this is you'd have to go online and download the Windows Defender Offline and put it onto a USB, and then, of course, reboot the computer while this is in, and the scan would run for, would run for you. Now, in today, anything after like 16.07 or 1609, you don't actually need this anymore, so you're perfectly fine with that. The reason why is that it's built in to actually allow us to not necessarily need anything else but the Windows machine itself. Now, when we start talking about it, what do we need to do to accomplish this? The first thing, of course, is you need to log on to that machine with administrative credentials. Now, that means if you have somebody logging on with a standard user, it's probably not gonna work out the way that you want it to, unless you wanna type in those credentials every single time. Logging in with administrative credentials is the easiest thing that you can do to ensure that this is gonna remain problem free for you. Secondly, of course, you want to verify that Defenders is actually updated as well. Now, normally, of course, when you run your Windows machine, it's probably gonna be updated fairly regularly, but you want to ensure that it is. So if it's a virtual machine that's been off for a while, make sure it actually gets its updates. Or if it's a physical machine that's been off for a while, make sure you run that update. And normally, of course, Defender will also update along with Windows itself, and you'll be perfectly fine when that's done. Now, once you have those two options done, now you actually have to pick how you're gonna to choose to make this thing run offline. Now, the great thing is, we can actually do it kind of the easy way, okay? And that easy way is actually going to be using the interface itself to help us out. So when we start talking about that, okay, I can simply type in security, and that will bring up the Windows Security app. So if I select the Windows Security app, then we can see security at a glance, and what we're looking for is gonna be the virus and threat protection. So if I click on that option, and it's under here that we have this ability to select what we want to run. So when we talk about this, what we're looking for is what it used to be called as advanced scan. You may st still see that on Microsoft's documentation, but for us, what we'll look for is right here where it says scan options. So if I select scan options, notice I have these four options, and the last option that's actually listed here is going to be Microsoft Defender Offline Scan. So this will allow us to go ahead and be able to do that same offline scan that we used to need a USB key to be able to do that for us. Now, if I select this option, then I can actually click Scan Now, and that will run through and do the scan. Now, notice that it says that it's gonna restart the device so it actually ends up running, and it's the only thing that will run. And you'll see uh, as you actually do this, you actually see where it will clear out whatever your RAM is, however much RAM that you have assigned to that machine, and then it will start the process of loading it into RAM in terms of Windows Defender, and it'll run through that process. Now it says it takes up to 15 minutes. Now that of course depends on the speed of your drives, and maybe even the density in terms of how much data that you have on your drives, as it has to scan each and every single file as it actually does that. So that's what we can actually choose to do. Now. When we do this, the great thing is the process is actually all same in all three, but I did wanna show you the other two options and then run, of course, that third option for you. So once we have that, we're going to go ahead and close out of that one. All right, so with the WMI, we have to bring up the command prompt to help us out here. So I'm simply gonna do that. I'm gonna actually type in CMD. I'm gonna also run this with administrative privileges as well. You'll see I get the you, uh, the UMC that, uh, the UAC that actually helped us out here. And I've gone ahead and I've copied this into my clipboard already. And you see the command there. Now, if you're actually wondering like, hey, I'm not gonna be able to remember all that, it'll be inside of the actual description. So you actually be fine. I'll have this right there for you as well. Now, once you do this, you'll go ahead and you'll press enter and it will say, hey, this is gonna start and it's gonna reboot. It's gonna do everything that we need to do. But this is another option. The great option about this is you can script it out and include this in something if you actually choose to, and your machine will reboot and do the uh, thing that it needs to. 
Now, let's finally run everything is what we'll do. So I'm gonna cancel that out and we're gonna bring up the PowerShell instead. Now with Windows PowerShell, the reason why I wanna run this one because it's a lot faster because it's a short command instead. So whether you're actually working inside of the, uh, the security app itself or you're even doing the WMI, nothing is actually shorter than of course using the PowerShell here. And so that's what we want to do as well. So the great thing is this is a fairly easy command for us and it's really almost the same thing as what we saw and uh, inside of the WMI, at least at the last little extension there when you saw that, uh, you actually see this. And so it's here that what we'll do is we'll go ahead and press enter. So it's start and then MPWDO scan. And once we press enter, you'll notice it says, hey, you're about to be signed out here less than a minute. I'm gonna click close and the machine will go ahead and restart for us. So regardless of whether you're using the app or whether you're using WMI or whether you're actually using the PowerShell, you're gonna end up getting the same thing where you'll restart the machine and when it reboots here, and you'll see of course the BIOS screen normally, in the upper right left-hand corner, you'll see where it says clearing the four gigabytes of RAM. So it's clearing it out. And what's being loaded right now is that Windows Defender offline. And if your computer has updated to the very latest uh, update that it has, that is what it's going to use. If you remember in previous editions of this, when you had the USB key, they never recommend that you just keep that USB key. They always recommend that you go online and get that latest edition to do so. Now, let me go ahead and zoom this in so that you can see what this will actually look like. So it says your PC is being scanned. This might take a while. When it's done, your PC will restart. So you see the current scan time. You see the number of items is scanning here. It's gonna take just a few minutes, but due to the magic of TV, we'll actually be able to see that it doesn't take any time at all. All right, it took a little bit longer than what you actually saw right here, but in just a few minutes, everything's back up. I logged back in. Now the last step is verifying that a scan did end up running. So I'm gonna select my Windows Security, and inside of Windows Security, you can see this is the virus and threat protection. And from there, you can go down to protection history, and we should see the listing here that it did set this up. So here it is it's saying, hey, here's what you need to be able to do. From that point, you can tell what actions it wants to do, which is to set everything up so that everything is actually done the way that we thought it would be. So Windows 10 offline, not exactly the most difficult thing to do. There are some options for you, but make sure you remember to log in and get everything updated as well. So if you want to actually see more, make sure you subscribe right here to our YouTube channel and hit that notification button. Well, thank you for watching.